some communities, police actively participated in the protest, and it's made a big difference. WBZ's Bill Shields shows us. Weston is one of the wealthiest communities in New England, but here too, hundreds of people marched today in support of Black Lives Matter and human rights. We do live in a privileged community, and it's so important that we recognize these injustices, though they may not affect us personally. And in the middle of the marchers, police chief Michael Goulding, who wanted to send a message. To show them we, uh, we feel just as strongly as they do about the uh, horrific events that, events that took, uh, took place in Minnesota. If Weston is largely white, the people of color who live or come to school here say it should not feel impervious to change. And it means a lot to come out here to like show everyone in Weston that our lives matter just as much as like anyone else. Well, impassioned, this demonstration was also peaceful. And we saw here, as we saw in Boston, police officers taking a knee in solidarity with the protesters. You know, there are departments, the people in the department that don't think it's a great idea to take a knee. There are other guys that were more than willing to take a knee and, and did it without provocation. And I think that uh, that worked very, very well. I think that it, it blended with the community well. I think it showed a human side to the Quincy Police Department and police officers in general. Officers taking a knee or marching in unison with the demonstrators. It's a good way to diffuse a situation, but also maybe it's a new kind of mindset. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Bill, thank you.